Okay, so what I'm going to do is first is um, draw a hip roof. So the first thing I want to do is draw the big rectangle. So I'm going to draw a line from here to here and draw a line from here to here so that it actually shows that I'm going to draw this big rectangle first. So what you want to do usually is start from um, your biggest rectangle and sort of work down from there. Since this is a mono pitch, I know that both my slopes are going to be the same in each direction, say 612 or 412, whatever. I'm going to, uh, I know that every time these lines interact, they're going to, or every time they come together, they're going to come together at a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to type, say, at 100, uh, less than sign 45. 100 is a random number just to give me some kind of distance, and 45 is the angle. I know I'm going to type an angle because that little less than sign means I'm going to type an angle next. So if I hit enter, there's my line drawn at 45 degrees. I'm going to mirror that just anywhere. Turn my ortho on so it snaps. And I'm just going to mirror it so that I can put it on all the different corners. Now I'm going to move that one into place and there's uh, two 45s coming together. If I fill it those, those will come together like that. Now I can take these two 45s and, and mirror them the opposite direction and move both of those into place too. So now I have uh, a hip, so I just created the roof for this really big rectangle. Like I've told you in class a couple times, whenever two 45s come together, they always have to have a straight line come off. So there's going to be the hip roof of this really big roof. So if this, if these two um, little whatever jut outs didn't exist and that one didn't exist, the roof would now be complete. But of course those things do exist, so let's keep, let's keep going. The next rectangle I want to draw, for simplicity's sake, will be this one. Actually, these two lines I've drawn now, I think they're now useless. I'll get rid of them. They were just for reference. Now I want to draw the angle. What did I get from this roof? I can just recopy all my 45 degree lines. There's one there. Copy this one here from that endpoint to that endpoint and fill it those two. Of course when two 45s come together it always makes a straight line or a ridge. And that straight line goes in this direction. Uh, the way I know it, uh, when to trim this thing off, um, actually I'm going to trim, end up trimming this line because this slope and this slope are the same. So then I don't need that line right there. The only thing I have left to do is uh, on a hip I have 45s coming off of both outside corners and also have them coming off the inside corners. So I have that and of course that point ends up going through that angle there and will always meet up at that corner there. So this roof is uh, like a puzzle. The whole thing sort of works together. Next roof I'm going to draw is this front roof. So I'm going to draw a line from here to here and uh, right now I'm going to draw the roof that sort of covers this part of it. So again I'll just take my 45s copy them down. Uh, how do I get that one there? Copy, say that 45 and put it right there. Fill it those and see how that looks. It looks good. Of course when two lines come together in a 45 they make a straight line or a ridge. I'm going to trim that up. These are on the same slope so I can trim that whole thing up. Uh, again this line is bogus. I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to finish off the rest. I'm going to finish off this small roof right here. So I'm going to copy this. Copy that one down, uh, copy the other one over, put it right there, fill it. When two 45s come together, they make a ridge, extend it through there, and trim those up. That actually looks correct. Um, I need something to come to that point right there too, and I need something to come off that corner. I bet you that's the same 45 degree line. Wham! Got it. So I think that thing works. I'll check my answers to make sure it works. Oops, I forgot one line. I forgot that one green line right there. So let me see. I would have gotten 95 on my own test. So if I copy this angle right to there, and just trim it up. There, that's how that thing would look. And it's kind of neat that this point out of 45 will always reach that, that sort of that point that we've already got on inside of our roof. So uh, I've already transferred all my walls down. Here's my walls. My wall locations are all transferred down. I've also transferred um, all of my exterior faces down. So I transferred that one down, and this one, and this one is right there, and that one is there. So I'm going to make all my slopes at 612. I'm just using 612 as a number. I can do 412, whatever I want, doesn't matter. So if I type in at 120, comma 60, it's a ratio of 12 to 6. And I'm going to mirror that thing over there and put it in place. Um, this is actually how this thing is going to start to look. That's correct. Um, what I can do now is I can take information from my from my roof plan, that ridge, and extend that line to that ridge. And I bet that's a straight line when I once I extend one to the next. Or 
perfect. So that's going to be my ridge height. I know that because I already had that in my roof plan. A couple other ways I could find it too, but that's just one simple way to find it. I don't do this roof because I'm not seeing that in that elevation, but now I can do this roof here, which is still on this same line. But now I just copy this 612 over to that fascia right there. So that's the fascia I'm drawing from. You can see that it comes to this point, which is good. And now I have one little roof left right here, which starts from that fascia. So I just copy this line over there. And that point lines up with that point. So now everything should be providing the information that you need to make this thing work. I can do the same thing in the other elevation. Um, and of course, all these roof heights should end up all coming together. The first one I want to do is uh, I want to copy this entire roof. Copy it off to here. Rotate it 90 degrees. It's the same roof. And just put it into place. It should fit. It does. So the first thing I want to draw is this is the edge of this big rectangle that I drew here. So I need to redraw that line again so I can get sort of a fake fascia line. I get kind of a faux fascia. This is going to be 612 again, so I'm going to... I'm going to take that line and draw it at 612, and then I'm going to take this line here, which is drawn at 612, and put that one into place. That didn't really work. Why didn't that work? Oh, because I went over too far to the side. I have to move that 612 over to there because I'm actually drawing it from this fascia and that thing should come to a point right at that ridge, which it does. So again, you can double check your own work to make sure that these things are coming in at the, that they're all coming at the same height. I'll finish this thing off for you. In the background over here, I'd have a, I'd have another, another roof back there. We didn't draw this one in the front. I can take that ridge straight down from there and take that ridge to there. How does that help me? Wherever this corner here hits that roof is where that ridge would start. So right there, straight across. And I bet you once I put this 612 from that point, it hits the end of the fascia. Yeah, sweet. I like it when it works. So I can erase those. I got that roof there. Got a couple more roofs I need to put in here. I can get rid of this. I can get rid of this top one. I can get rid of both those actually. I can do this one. There's where that ridge starts. It goes straight across to there. And again, 612. And I bet you that comes and lands right on that fascia. Booyah! Sweet. And one more line from there to there, draw that fascia straight across, which is the exact same height as that one right there, same height as that, and again I put a 612 in place, and trim it, and that is really close to what that roof should look like, I think I got it right. I think so. Let me just check my answer. Oh, I had a few too many lines in there. I'm gonna undo that, undo my erase. Uh, this whole slope was on the same slope, so I can just trim that line up right there. And that's how you do your uh, big hip roof. I'll do another video here where I show you how to do maybe this gable. That might be not quite as easy. And then I'll show you how to do multi right after. Thanks.